The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea. With a rollicking song, he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather-beaten. He wears a hooded sash with a silver hat about his head and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country. A villain, big and bold, and the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. To grow from autumn wind to violent storm, Raider owner Al Davis constantly added great coaches and players, including seven Heisman Trophy winners. First, Billy Cannon from LSU. Next, two-time Super Bowl champion Jim Plunkett from Stanford. Super Bowl 18 MVP Marcus Allen from USC followed. Then came Auburn University's awesome Bo Jackson. Next, perennial All-Pro receiver Tim Brown from Notre Dame followed by Super Bowl 31 MVP Desmond Howard from Michigan. Finally, cornerback Charles Woodson also from Michigan. The Heisman Trophy winner in 1997 and a Raider since 1998. The storm intensified. Super Bowl 11, a 32-14 domination of Minnesota. Super Bowl 15, a 27-10 sinking of Philadelphia. And Super Bowl 18, a 38-9 destruction of Washington. Now for the new millennium, a silver and black storm warning has been posted. Brilliant head coach John Gruden is driven to regain the crown for the Raiders. With new quarterback Rich Gannon leading the offense, the Raiders defied the odds in Minnesota. With Matt Stinchcomb on injured reserve, tackles Lincoln Kennedy and Mo Collins and tight end Jeremy Brigham provided early momentum. Back to pass. Looking. Throws over the middle. Caught James Jenna. Dive into the end zone. A Raider touchdown. Lance Johnstone, Russell Maryland, and Chuck Osborne attacked. Rookie Tony Bryant, number 94, got his first pro sack. And 54, Greg Beekert's tip pass set up Maryland's interception. Rich Gannon completed 21 passes against Minnesota, including a long one to number 82 speedster James Jett. Raider runners roared inside and out with Napoleon Kaufman, number 26, and Tyrone Wheatley, number 47, constantly pressuring the Minnesota defense. Brilliant call, perfect blocking, and Gannon's mobility put Oakland on top. The victory was the Raiders' first of four wins against playoff-bound opponents. Raider banners flew proudly as fans of all ages filled Network Associates Coliseum for the 99 home opener. Veteran quarterbacks Rich Gannon, Bobby Hoy. and Wade Wilson, along with rookie Scott Dreisbach, were well prepared. But it was the sure hands and nimble feet of corner Darian Gordon that put the Raiders in scoring position. Gannon and Tim Brown quickly teamed for six. Dickens and Brown, right jet, left, Gannon back to pass on third and nine, close, end zone, John Gruden's offense struck for 400 yards, including this leaping catch by Ricky Dudley. And a five-step drop, throws end zone. Oh, what a catch down the middle by Ricky Dudley. Intimidating defense with Bryant, Marilyn, Grady Jackson, Lance Johnstone, Darrell Russell, and James Harris challenged passers and forced fumbles. 
with time to throw Gannon hit number 28 Randy Jordan coming out of the backfield. Leadership, design, and execution combine to produce results for the silver and black. Tyrone Wheatley refused to be stopped and blocked by John Ritchie and Jeremy Brigham sprung him for a touchdown and a 24-17 Raider win. They give it a Wheatley run. He's got room. Cuts back. Wheatley's in. Touchdown Raiders. This is what it's all about right here. This is what it's all about, baby. Bobby. Rich Stadium. Oh, yeah. Rich Stadium. We're here. We're ready to conquer. In Buffalo, Great protection enabled Rich Gannon to find Tim Brown, who became the first Raider to surpass 10,000 yards receiving. John Ritchie, one of 21 Raiders in their first two NFL seasons, ensuring greatness for the future powered into scoring position. The first of two Tyrone Wheatley touchdowns triggered sideline approval. The Raider defense allowed only two third down conversions and corner Eric Allen 21 and Darian Gordon alertly picked off Buffalo passes. The young offensive line of number 64 Gennaro DiNapoli, 63 Barrett Robbins, 65 Barry Sims, 72 Lincoln Kennedy, and 76 Steve Wisniewski, averaging under 27 years of age, paved the way for nearly 200 yards rushing. We're getting them six yards at a pop. Just gotta keep pounding them. And pound it they did. And they give it a Whitley up the middle. Big hole there, and he will walk into the end zone. Untouched. 51 Lance Johnstone hounded, and 53 Travian Smith pounded. With two seconds left, Buffalo kept firing. But Eric Turner's interception sealed another road victory against a playoff-bound team. Back home in week seven against the New York Jets, things were not looking up as the Raiders trailed by 17 late in the third quarter. Here goes Zach again, and he's into the end zone, walking and high-stepping. Touchdown, Raiders! Touchdowns by number 32, Zach Crockett, and number 81, Tim Brown, cut the deficit to three. There's no one there open. We got to play, baby. A rich Gannon bomb to Tim Brown put the Raiders in position to win as Raiderettes rallied the crowd. Gannon's great escape provided the magical moment with just 35 seconds remaining. Rolling right again, same play, Brown covered. Gannon now running around. Ferguson has him to throw in the end zone, and it is caught by James Kidd. Touchdown! Coverage of Michael Husted's kick by Jermaine Williams helped seal the one-point victory for the Raiders, the NFL's best in one-point games with a 24-9 record. Against the Chargers, Raider coach John Gruden and the Raiderettes were primed and ready.
Rich Gannon completed passes long and short, including deep to James Jett, and under great pressure, a screen to Tyrone Wheatley. It's a play action to Wheatley. Gannon gets it away. Wheatley's got it. First down, 10. Wheatley inside the five. Wheatley into the end zone. Touchdown, Raiders. What a power run by Wheatley. Battle-hardened defenders answered the call, yielding less than 230 yards and no touchdowns. Charles Woodson's reception on his very first offensive play was part of a 97-yard drive that ended with Gannon's second TD pass of the game. It's a play action, a throw for the end zone, Dublin! Gannon's third scoring pass gave the Raiders a 21-3 lead. And Wheatley's in again! Touchdown, Tyrone Wheatley! Led by Kaufman and Wheatley, the Raiders outrushed San Diego by 140 yards. And Pro Bowl pick Rich Gannon's fourth scoring pass capped a dominating 28-9 victory. Derek Walker, Mo Collins, Sam Sword, Marcus Ray and company were ready for Seattle in the Coliseum. With key blocks by Mo Collins and John Ritchie, Napoleon Kaufman ripped off a 44-yard run. Great second effort by Tim Brown put Oakland ahead by 10. No movement on the line, Gannon throws for Brown, and it is caught! In 1999, Brown tied Art Shell and Howie Long with eight Pro Bowl selections. Number 30, Anthony Newman, and number 22, Charles Mency, made clutch interceptions, providing their offense with both possession and position. Offensive lineman Mo Collins, Steve Wisniewski, Barrett Robbins, Barry Sims, and Lincoln Kennedy would allow no sacks this day as Rich Gannon riddled Seattle. Tim Brown's second score built the Raider lead. Kennedy, Walker, Dudley, Sims, and Ritchie helped Crockett ensure another win. And this time Crockett driving is the end. Touchdown! Zach Crockett finally breaks the play. Touchdown, Raiders. Raiderettes, Raider fans, linebacker Greg Beekert and teammates were all in a holiday mood for the final home game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But only one daring pirate fan would gain glory today. Silver and black domination was on display early. Third and five, throws, caught, Brown, first down, ten, five, Brown, touchdown, Raiders! Rookie linebacker Eric Barton would not be fooled. And defenders Darrell Russell, Richard Harvey, Russell Maryland, Brady Jackson, and Calvin Branch continued the attack. Santa and the fans had reasons to celebrate. Young Raiders like number 98 Chuck Osborne, 91 Roderick Coleman, Pro Bowl choice Darrell Russell, Eric Barton, and 51 Lance Johnstone invaded the Buccaneers' backfield. Brady Jackson, Charles Mincy, and Pro Bowl corner Charles Woodson were unyielding as the Raiders recorded their first shutout since 1992.
John Gruden directed the NFL's number two offense on a scoring avalanche, and rushing average leader and Napoleon Kaufman exploded. Outside. He is gone. The Raiders are blowing out the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They give it to Waitley up the middle. Waitley's in. Touchdown, Raiders. Pitch to Kaufman led by Kennedy. And he breaks one tackle of a hot two. Comes back left. He may go the whole distance. Pouring out to block. Kaufman's going to go the whole way. Touchdown, Raiders. A 75-yard cutback run by Napoleon Kaufman. The Raiders totally dominated, beating their fourth playoff team this season. On January 2nd, Raider commitment to excellence would be severely challenged as Kansas City aimed for the playoffs. The scoreboard's gonna take care of itself, okay? Doing the trenches. Raiders on three. One, two, three! Raiders. The Chiefs led by 17 until special teams ignited the Raiders. Marquise Walker blocked it, and the Raiders have the ball. Kenny Shad picks it up, and he goes into the end zone. Touchdown! Marquise Walker may have just turned the game around. Tim Brown's streak of catches in 108 straight games continued in the final game. Rich Gannon found Zach Crockett, who used blocks by Gennaro DiNapoli, Nate Parks, and Ricky Dudley to bring the Raiders within three points. Perfectly executed shovel pass blocks by 64 Dinopoli, 73 Darrell Ashmore, and 76 Steve Wisniewski freed Napoleon Kaufman to find the end zone as Oakland scored 21 unanswered points to move ahead. Starting linebackers number 54, Greg Beekert, 53, Travian Smith, and 50, Eric Barton, were tough and tenacious, and alert cornerback Charles Woodson provided blanket coverage deep. Gannon passed for 324 yards, and Dudley powered for 25 yards per catch. John Ritchie's catch and run positioned the Raiders to go in ahead at halftime. And with help from 85 Terry Mickens and Darrell Ashmore, Tyrone Wheatley scored on the NFL's run of the year. Here's a counter draw to Wheatley. Breaks a tackle. 15. Wheatley 10. Wheatley still on his feet. Wheatley 5. Wheatley won't go down. Wheatley Touchdown. into the end zone. Touchdown Raiders. Punter Leo Aragus with great coverage by 84 Kenny Shedd, 62 Adam True, 44 Johnny Harris and 27 Calvin Branch pen the Chiefs deep. With Aragu's holding, Joe Netney's 38 yard field goal with 45 seconds remaining forced overtime. The Raiders won the coin toss and stormed in for the kill. Rich Gannon, the AFC's number two passer in 99,
broke free to find big tight end Ricky Dudley for crucial yardage. With seven consecutive 1,000-yard seasons, the second most in NFL history, Tim Brown positioned these remarkable Raiders on the glory road to close out their memorable first 40 years and open a new millennium with another classic comeback. In this new millennium, two more Raider greats enter the Hall of Fame. Eight-time Pro Bowl pick Howie Long wore the silver and black with distinction for 13 glorious seasons. Safety Ronnie Lott spent two memorable seasons as a Raider, delivering ferocious hits and intercepting passes. Great Raiders already enshrined in Pro Football's Hall of Fame are center Jim Otto, guard Gene Upshaw, tackle Art Shell, wide receiver Fred Belitnikoff, Quarterback kicker, George Blanda. Linebacker, Ted Hendricks. Cornerback, Willie Brown. Cornerback, Mike Haynes. Running back, Eric Dickerson. And owner, coach, administrator, Al Davis. Since 1963, Al Davis as Raiders owned the NFL's best winning percentage. Commitment to excellence displayed over four decades proves that the fire that burns brightest in this organization remains the will to win. As the new millennium begins, a silver and black storm warning has again been raised.